Well, Danny Lay teased a track and it did not go the way that she thought it would. The song has to do with being a yellow bone. What, that, that, what was that now? What happened? Yellow bone, that's what he want. Now, she posted yellow bone, that's what he want. Little baby left uh, yellow circles as in the comments. And then mm-hmm. she, uh, the, yeah, that's what the baby did. And then Danny Lay said, why I can't make a song for my light-skinned baddies? Why y'all think I'm hating on other colors when there are millions of songs speaking on all types? Why y'all so sensitive and take it personal? Congratulations, y'all got another thing to say about me when you hate. It's all good. Only God can cancel me. That ish don't mean ish to me because the people around me are the ones that know my heart and intention in real life. I'm sorry if I offended you. Y'all don't know me. I'm going to keep letting God bless me while y'all ba- sit back and judge me. Now, I, I was confused by this yesterday because um, uh, I'm trying to figure out what am I missing? You know, she, she. I think people are mad because they, they they don't. She's not black. Is she black or is she not? She black? posted, "I'm Dominican." She said, "I'm Dominican. I'm Spanish. I'm black. I'm white. Leave me alone." But she has a lighter complexion, so she made a song about having a lighter complexion. Like mm-hmm. I'm trying mm-hmm. to, I'm trying to figure out what's the problem here. Um, yellow bone. That's what he want. What's wrong with that? Um, I think I think it's like a, a colorism thing. And so is is brown skinned girls colorism? Well, I think the problem is that people have for so long uh, acted like for light-skinned women, there was more privileges. They were getting casted in videos and TV shows. There's been a lot of people saying things like, I don't do dark-skinned women and things like that. But it's not like, she's, so it's, it's not like she said her she light skin. She didn't say her light skin is better than anybody's. She didn't say that. I mean, I, I, mean, I didn't hear it. I, just I heard couldn't that see doing it. I couldn't see it. Yeah, I couldn't see you doing something like yellow bone is what he wants or, you know, I just don't think it was. But people, I mean, we, we have songs about melanin, there's brown skinned girls. Like, I think everybody should have pride in their complexion. How are we going to tell people to love the skin they're in, but when they make a song about their complexion, people get upset. That's just a little strange to me. Maybe I'm missing I thought something. people were mad people... because they didn't feel she was black. That's why I thought people were mad. I thought they were saying, how does a, you know, how does a woman make a light skinned song and she's not black? That's what I thought. That's what I seen online. Only black people with lighter complexion? I don't know. That's that's what I see. Why people are mad? Well, I don't know. But um, other posts were Suki Hana said, "Make a song about how all shades of black is beautiful instead of making yourself feel superior and calling everybody haters." That's dope. Listen to us, and then maybe you would have more black women supporting you. Because honestly, none of them are. Kendrick Lamar did that with complexion. You know what I mean? He mm-hmm. he, he gave. It I do all, think all like shades. mentioning. Yeah, I do think uh, mentioning. I mean, it's just a lot of division amongst black people on the tone of their skin, light skin, dark skin, all of that. Well, so, stop, stop it's, calling, it's a weird thing to do right stop now. Stop calling me light skin bitch, Charlamagne, or beige ne- bitch, or never. waffle color you bitch. You will always be bitch. my beige little bitch. See? All right? And men make songs about wanting light skin women, wanting red bones all the time. That's Childish the problem. Gambino, Childish Gambino had a whole song called Red Bone. She's actually, yeah, she, she's actually light skin. She's rapping about herself and there's backlash. If she was on the song saying light skin is better than dark skin, I would understand, but... Yellow bone is what he wants. Like, really? That's what y'all mad about? No, Eliza Rain posted certain things are expected from these male rappers, but I'm shocked a woman's still doing this in 2021. Honestly, anybody that's been in America more than two hours should know that's a touchy subject. But then again, we shouldn't expect a person who isn't even black, red bone or chocolate to understand how it's offensive. Red bones are lighter toned black women, by the way. Not see, Hispanic, but go off. Because see, the reason I don't I don't I don't dig this is because when a, a, a sister comes out and she makes a song about her, her melanin or, you know, a brown skin girls, like that should be celebrated. So I'm not going to knock her because she's making a song about her skin complexion because I don't want nobody to knock the chocolate color, colored sisters when they come out and celebrate themselves. I just don't understand how we can tell yeah. people to love the skin they're in, but if they make a song about it, it's backlash. If she would have said, I think- uh, if she would have said I'm better, my mighty light skin is better, I would totally get it, which I didn't hear that. Well, yeah, I, would, I don't think anybody should do a song like that. But I think when it comes to chocolate women, like for so long, they haven't been getting uh, the roles. They haven't been getting the attention, modeling gigs, all of that. So, you know, just to uplift them and have their own uh, melanin pop in is a strong, powerful message for everybody. But when you so, uh, well, listen, I'm all listen, I'm all about keeping light skinned people down, especially light skinned <laughs> no. men. So if that's what we're doing, I'm with it. 
Okay. We're not Shut doing up. that. Especially We're like just trying not men. to cause any division. All right. Now, Megan the Stallion was on social media, and there was at first a report that came out saying that the charges had gotten dropped against Tory Lanez, and she wanted to make sure people know that that is not true. She posted about it. Somebody said, I'm sorry, Meg, but how long are you going to keep bringing this up? She said, are you living under a rock? You think I brought this up today? And if I want to keep talking about me getting shot, I can. She said, y'all so believe black women and protect black women online, but when I literally say I got shot, it's confusing. How the F I got shot. Now I'm the world's biggest MF villain. All y'all. Okay, I can't even say all that. Um, And then she said, trauma is real. I'm still traumatized from losing my mom, dad, and one of my grandmothers. And on top of that being shot, I'm not open about anything on the internet, usually because I like to keep my emotions private, but I'm reaching my limit. I'm going to keep staying positive. Mm. Yeah, so there was a fake story. And so she was responding to that fake story. The charges have not been dropped, but they changed the court date. Is what yeah, happened. They, changed, they so, changed the court date. The problem with that whole yeah. situation is they speak about it a little bit and then they stop and then you and then people that make their, their own opinions because she started talking about it a little bit when she was on live one time and then he started talking about it in his song and nobody knows. So what do you expect people to do? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Yeah. That, that reality show that is Megan and Tori keep getting better and better because yesterday Megan said, you going to jail. Yeah, she, <laughs> she, said that. <laughs> she tweeted that in capital yeah, letters. Said, you going, you to, going jail. to jail. Like, whoa. Mm-hmm. Yikes. Yeah, she said, y'all can't tell when it's fake news. Y'all still don't see an abuser picking with me. The first court date got pushed back because of the inauguration, but I can't wait until the facts come out. Bitch, you shot me and my story not changing. And bitch, you going to jail. Lord, have mercy. Now, Tory Lane said, I will continue my 2021 unproblematically. Just want to make great content for my fans. Much <laughs> love, y'all. Uh, <laughs> I don't, but I, all right, I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> if he shot, if he shot, you should go to jail. I'm, Absolutely, I'm, I'm, I don't have. I'm, I'm, this is an exhausting story. I don't know anything. I want both. I wish healing for all parties Correct. involved. Okay, Absolutely. whatever's supposed to happen is gonna happen. Whatever people are supposed to get, they are gonna get. That's that's it. That's all you got. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. All right, Charlamagne, who are you giving that donkey to? Uh, one of Dramos's people, Samuel Carmogo. You love uh, him. He needs to come to the front of the congregation. We we, we need to have a word with him. This is, right. this is insane. And he's from Florida. All right. We'll get into that next. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.